Hey there, Ben Lipper here. Today I have something really cool I want to show you. This is actually a really cool tool that I'll sometimes use when I want to design a robot, but either I don't have the pieces or maybe I don't want to build it in real life, but I want to still be able to design it. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, hey, you know, maybe that's something I want to give a shot. Maybe I want to try designing my own robots on the computer. There's a link in this video. You can go ahead and click it. I'll send you details on basically how to install it. I'll send you a link to download it. I'll send you installation instructions. It's a little tricky to get set up with the libraries and everything. But I'll send you everything you need to get started and start designing. All right, so this is the software. It's super cool. Basically, what it lets you do is create just about anything you want. So, for example, let's just go ahead and create a drivetrain real quick. Okay. Check this out. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decide how big I want my drivetrain. Oh, I don't know. Let's go for a big drivetrain. Perfect. There is a 2x20. That's going to be the backbone of our drivetrain. I'm now going to go ahead and use some of these. Oh, no, the wrong color. I like mine black. Okay. Good thing it's black now. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And uh, that didn't work out how I thought it would. Spin that guy around. Plug one of those in. Super cool feature this guy has. This program has is the ability to snap in two parts. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and snap in. It figures out where the holes are, makes those holes line up perfectly, and it just works every time. Additionally, if you decide, hey, I want to use some pins in my robot, which I suggest you do, the pins also snap right in there. Like, look at that. Those pins are just snapping in so clean. All right, so that guy is looking good. That is our first drive rail. I'm going to go ahead and now actually Grab a shaft. If you want a shaft to be metal, there's a color called metal, so I use that color. Um, these shafts are unfortunately really hard to tell exactly how long they are. I happen to know I need an M6, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those. That looks good. Now, I know that I'm going to want four wheels on my robot. I'm going to go ahead and do it the cheater way, though. Check this out. I'm only going to design one wheel. All right, and here we are. We have completed one of our wheels. I might be looking at this wheel though and thinking, hey, I want a second one. How do I do that? Check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and just select everything in this wheel. That's such a beautiful wheel. Select the shaft, get the shaft colors, boom, boom. That looks good. Copy, paste, and wouldn't you know it, I got myself a fresh new wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's aligned correctly. If it's not, I can use arrow keys to align it. I don't need to though, I got it right the first time though. Um, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. But you know, just depends on what practice you have. So then I want another one of these actually. This is going to be how I hook everything up. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, paste that. And this guy is going to line up, come on, right there and spin around 180 degrees kind of line with those arrow keys. You really see how it's going to line up perfectly in just a minute here. Not quite lined up yet, though. We are missing some cross beams. These, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna use some two by 18s. That sounds like a great idea. You might not have two by 18s in your kit, but hey, I bet the computer has them. So there's the two by 20. If I click this, it'll highlight the piece that I have, which is super useful. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these guys, though. This is a two by 18, the one before that. And sure enough, I can line it up perfectly. They're like, I bet that's lined up. No, it's not. That's sad. So you just click it, and I'm going to hold control and use the arrow keys and move it down. And that's great for one side. I'm going to go and just copy and paste that right over here to the other side. Come on. Boom. That is perfect. All right, so now that I've got to this point, all I need to do is actually copy and paste it. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything. You can also hit select all, and then I'll select everything as well. So here I'll select none and I'll hit select all. I'm like, perfect. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and deselect those guys. I don't need to copy them. I already have that for both sides. Get it about in the right position. Flip it upside down, right? Because we gotta do that too. And I'm just gonna use arrow keys real quick. I'm gonna position this guy. That looks about right. So I'll look at it real careful. I see, ooh, I did miss. Look at that. That looks closer to right. But now I look on top, now I'm wrong. So use some final arrow keys. I'm like, aha. That looks perfect. I love arrow keys on this one, by the way. And my drivetrain is done. You might be thinking, though, hang on a sec, Ben. That drivetrain is not done. Why is it not done? It has no way to drive. It has no motors. So I am going to go ahead and attach some pins. 
I like attaching pins before I attach motors. It makes the motors stick better. Um, like actually on the computer, if you have pins in the holes, the motors will stick better and they'll be easier to install than if you don't have pins. So just something to be aware of. There we go. Those pins are in there nice and good. Now I'm going to go ahead and get myself a motor. Oops. Motors are in here. You need to scroll down until you find the part you're looking for. This is the part I am looking for. Almost. I'm like, did that motor attach correctly? Yes, it did. All right. Copy and paste that motor. Flip it around so it's facing the other direction. You got to flip it this way too, right? Because that, that's important. And now this drive train works great. And you might be like, well, what about the chain? Most CAD programs do not let you put chain in. But check this out. This one does. This is a bit of a more advanced feature. But what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and add a loop of chain. Select. OK. And now watch this. So I'm going to flip it sideways over here. Flip it so that it looks like it all about woo about fit where I need it to. But, I mean, if you look at this thing, right, you can tell it's in the wrong location, right? I think we could all agree that's pretty obvious. It seems to be, like, not long enough to reach. But that's what you think until you switch into this mode. Watch this. I'm actually going to hide this guy. Fun fact, you can hide any part you ever want. Now I'm going to move this ring over here and look at that my chain is now long enough so I'll use my arrow keys kind of adjust it if I had a bigger sprocket this little ball actually lets me get a big sprocket on one side or the other side has balls as well and you can do that too this is actually the right size for me though so I'm going to do that I'm going to save it switch back to normal mode and kind of get rid of that now I'm going to take this guy I'm going to copy and paste it over to this side can I get all those guys in the right spot? We're looking good over here. Looks like I'm having a problem over here now, so I'll just kind of adjust all these good guys. Now I want that piece that I hid before to show up again. Look at that, there it is. And now I have just completed my drivetrain. So go ahead and check that out. We are all good to go. You can hit the save button, you have a drivetrain. And then from here, it's up to you. You can build anything you want. So like I said before, awesome program. Certainly suggest you try it. I don't actually use it to design my robots ahead of time. I'll sometimes use it to like save a robot. The best process for designing robots is actually still physically building them. It works a lot better than just trying to do it in a program first. But certainly suggest you download it. As always, though, like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing what you designed this year.